Hi there, this is Self-Critical Automaton, and as you can see, I've decided to equip my stylish helmet that I found last uh, last episode, and he said last week, but this is not a weekly uh, weekly show. I'm daily. Good for uh, good for ratings, probably. Anyway, um, today we're going to go up and probably work the rest of the way. Ah, yes, okay. I was trying to hide the fact that I had... Uh, had a bit of a false start at the beginning of this episode and managed to fall off here. So I was going to be clever and hide it, but um, I forgot to go get my bloodstains, so I guess I failed. There's a lot of ledges you can fall off in this game, and a lot of them are, you know, fairly easily accessed. <laughs> Suck on that. It's always satisfying getting a backstab. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yes, uh, handrails. There's no guardrails! Well, I mean, some places have them, but most places don't, and it's really quite a latent safety oversight, frankly. Off you go. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I know Lordran is kind of, uh, kind of falling apart after uh, many long centuries of disrepair, or at least implied long centuries of disrepair. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Okay. Yeah, uh, the one downside to knocking things off cliffs is that sometimes things drop items, and if it drops an item and you knock it off a cliff, well, no item for you. So you might notice I'm using the old uh, winged spear. I leveled up last time, and the winged spear is a personal favourite of mine. It's not a literal winged spear, as you can see, but it does have a couple of lugs sticking out just by the... Uh, just by the spearhead. Um, it's basically a boar spear. Um, yeah, which uh, would be a good option for fighting the giant steel boar that was here. Unfortunately, I killed it, as I'm sure you recall. Now, the winged spear is a personal favourite of mine. I like its moveset, and uh, it is one of the game's thrusting weapons, which means that you can have your shield up and do a light attack at the same time. Most weapons you can't attack with your shield up, so this is a very useful thing for, you know, tough corners. There's also the advantage that there's no sweeping attacks, everything is a forward thrust. So it's quite useful in this area because there's a few confined spaces I'll be heading through, and I don't really want to be uh, swinging wildly. I want to be aiming forwards, like a sensible person. Of course, I might drop my shield anyway. Uh, I should probably mention I managed to hurt my thumb quite a bit the other day, so... I might be a little bit less, uh, a little bit less uh, skillful than I usually am, which is not to say I am usually skillful, but you know what I mean. Come on, prod, prod, prod. Basically, you prod things until they die. Fortunately, um, hollows are not quite as clever about using uh, using the Olestus as I am. I do generally try and avoid being in melee range, so, you know. Let's see if we can, uh, be clever. Run past these guys, run past this guy. Stab him up, stab him up. There we go, very clever. Now we've just got to deal with two more shield guys and we can get back to what we're up to. Um, there's another Black Knight in this area. I was thinking about going and, uh, Going and killing him, but wow, that was close. Let's uh, let's be careful. No, I'm dead. Yeah. So um, yeah. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna be the bigger person, and I'm not going to blame that on my thumb. Although my thumb does really hurt. Um. I'm probably going to be foolish and waste another humanity, but uh, hey, might as well. So, I'm going to talk a little bit now about the game's items, and the... As I've mentioned, most of the game's lore is delivered through environmental implications, and although people do tell you stuff, there is exposition in the game, mostly they cannot be trusted either because they are deliberately lying to you, or because they are themselves misinformed, or because they are doing what you are doing, and therefore, you know, they're just making different uh, inferences and so on. Right, back up here. 
It'd be nice if these guys dropped some more, uh, dropped some more armor sometime, but um, I guess I'm going to be. Let's see if we can. Oh no, I missed. Ah oh, well, he's only a he's only a crappy so crappy sword hollow. So that's him down. Um, yeah. I mean, it would be nice to have more armor, but on the other hand, that is kind of the perfect body. Like, goddamn. It's not often that I'm jealous of my own character's uh, physiques, but, you know. Kick. I really get a kick out of this. Bye. You might have noticed I like puns. This is, uh, this is a... something of a, a deep personal failing, I'm afraid. Uh... Yeah. So, items. The other main source of lore is... Ah, dicks, I'm poisoned. Yes, the other source of lore is our dicks, I'm poisoned. <sighs> well, hopefully I can make it back to my bloodstain. Mm. Blocking an attack with your shield doesn't necessarily block it, uh, block the poison from building up, although it does reduce it. But, yeah, so... Uh, mm. Nice ass. Anyway, <laughs> the Black Knight's up at the top of this tower, so we're not going to go up there. It's probably it's fairly easy to kill him with spells, but I don't know if I have enough at the moment to take him down, so I'm just not going to risk it, really. Yep. Oh, look, he dropped something. A longsword. Fantastic. The longsword is a, is a really decent all-round weapon. It's uh, very useful in a lot of places. It's not spectacular, but it has a versatile moveset, and you can do a bunch of different stuff with it. However, for the moment, I'm keeping with the uh, the winged spear. Alright. So yeah, um, I could run all the way back down to uh, New Londo and pick up another spell or two from uh, Ricker to Vinheim, but... Who is? If you, <laughs> I don't know if you call He's the smith hiding in a cage underground. I do love the ragdolls in this game. It's pretty much the only silly thing, really. Like, this is a very serious game, and yet, ragdolls. Also, have you noticed, these guys have, like, amazing abdominal muscles. I mean, they're corpses, right? The rest of them's emaciated as hell, but look, they are still cut. Wow. There are items that can heal poison later on, but I don't have any of them yet, so... Come on. Let's, uh, stop jumping around uselessly, and... Where did I die? I died up here. So yeah, items. Every item has a description. Every description, well, not every description in the game, but most of the games, to, most of the descriptions you can uh, find on items are, you know, they're very interesting little tidbits of lore. You can learn all sorts of things. Uh, come on. Right, I'm going to do the same thing I did last time and uh, get past these guys because it's just easier to kill them because they don't have shields. You know. I guess they uh, thought they didn't need them, you know, or fool them, really. See? You always need a shield. That's what these guys have learnt. So, yeah, I can't remember if, I was men if I'd mentioned before, but the uh, every weapon in the game has... Let's see if I can get a drop attack. Oh no, I missed! Don't stab me! Ah. Don't tread in the fire, either. Every weapon has a number of attacks. There's a light attack, a heavy attack, and that was in fact an example of each of those. A jumping attack, and then a kick. That wasn't the kick I missed. You've seen me kick plenty of times though. It's like that, you know? Oh, well, that's more of a knee really, isn't it? Ah. It's a bit harder to pull off with my thumb all painful. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're now back up to where we were yesterday. Um, it's only taken half the episode. Let's see. Ah, oh, my poison's run out, that's good. I've only got four restus. So, in that case, I'm just going to head for the next bonfire and uh, see what I can see. Let's see if we can get that guy. Yes, haha! <laughs> There's no escape from me. Now, we're going to be ambushed by a clever little hollow hiding over here. So, I mean, if you look at these guys, it's hard to tell because of the uh, the whole loincloth thing, but they aren't cut. Does that mean that just, like, one of the truths of this universe is that uh, 
abs are forever, you know, if you're a if you're a guardsman soldier type and you get yourself a nice nice set of abdominal muscles, you will have those even if you become an emaciated zombie. <sighs> to be honest, that's pretty much the only uh oh, what's this? Ugh, I hate it when I can't get through a space, it's really irritating. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Pretty much the only thing that could uh, persuade me to do enough sit-ups to get actual abs myself would be to... Uh, what's this? Here. Yes, well, I had noticed, thank you. A mystery key. I wonder what that does. Presumably it uh, unlocks a mystery. Right, up here we... Yeah, basically, it's, just... it's got a nice tummy as well. Sorry, I'm <laughs> a little bit too... a little bit too distracted with the whole lady feelings thing. Um, that's these guys down. It is interesting, as someone pointed out, that they have um, set death animations, but then they ragdoll once they hit the floor, which is interesting. So that guy can't wheel away. Can't wheel away? Can't wheeling away. Oop, whoops, let's nip out across this, uh, nip out across this beam and grab that item. It's interesting, there's two kinds of corpses you can find. This oh. Sorry about your table. I'm sure you didn't need it anyway. Your zombies, do you even need to eat? Since you're maintained by magic bonfires or something? Yeah, anyway. So, there's sort of shriveled up grey corpses, and then there are armoured corpses, which are... I think there might be two kinds of armoured corpse. This this one's a bit, you know, it looks like a hollow. But, uh, yeah, there's a full tin can armour. Anyhow, let's head on up. You might notice I have one liquid humanity at the moment. That's because you can potentially get liquid humanity from killing most kinds of enemies. It's a fairly low drop chance, but it just uh, zooms into your. Uh... Oh look, that's the other kind of uh, the other kind of corpse that I mentioned. That is to say, corpses that have items on them rather than corpses you uh, corpses you make yourself. Now, I'm going to be very careful because down here there's a new kind of enemy, one we haven't fought yet. This is a Balder Knight. Why are they called that? It's because they've lost their hair. Oh, I missed the backstab. That's a problem. Best, uh, best run away. <laughs> no, I'm going to uh, wait for my chance and stab him. Balder Knights are pretty tough. As you can see, I'm not doing much damage to him. And he's doing a lot of damage to me. In fact, I might switch to magic just for... Uh, Safety reasons. Which also seems to not be doing much damage to him, but to be fair, he is blocking with his shield. That shield is a... I think it's a Taj. It might be a... Oh no, I'm dead! I'm dead again! Oh. I am really not showing off to well effect today, am I? Good God! So yeah, that's uh That's a thing that happened. Okay, this time I'm uh, going to go off in undead mode because uh, <laughs> I can't really afford to waste more humanity. There's only a set number of... Well, I suppose, no. There is more than... How to phrase this? There is a technically infinite number of humanity available on a run-through of the game because there's... Liquid humanity can drop from various enemies and certain enemies can drop uh, solid humanity as well. That's, but they're both fairly rare. So there's only a... L look, look at those abs! Like, he, he's he got, like, what? I mean, he's got, a he's got a waist that a fine Victorian lady would kill for. And yet he somehow still has exquisitely defined abdominal muscles. It's just, just not natural. Yep, worth mentioning. Pretty dangerous because there's no, uh... What are they called? Things you might... Fall off of. There's no no guardrails. No. Yeah. The uh, the Lord Rainian Office of Workplace Safety very understaffed. <sighs> it's really hard to maintain um, maintain maintain morale in this game. Like on your first run through, you will die again and again and again and again. You'll have died 50 times by the time you reach this point. You'll have died. You know, just a ridiculous no It's really brutal. It's not just zombie, it's like you know. 
Borlia party flesh as well as as well as yeah. Anyway, um, I should probably make uh, free use of the old magic spells. Just blast my way through these guys so that we can save a bit of time. In fact, I should probably edit my way. I should probably edit the whole uh, running back to my corpse thing in future episodes. I'm not going to do it this time because you know I don't want to cut any commentary out. But um, yeah. You might notice that even whoa, I cannot afford to die and lose all my souls and humanity and everything. Yeah, so even when they block with a shield, it still does more damage than when they block a melee attack with a shield. That's because the shields have really high physical damage resistance. In fact, I think that kind of shield, the kind of shields these guys have and sometimes drop, the Hollow Soldier Shield has a hundred percent damage block. Although they still seem to die when I uh, when I kill them. <laughs> no, I mean they still seem to die when I when I. They still seem to be hit by my attacks for a, a tiny amount of damage. Usually one, I think. I don't really know why that is. Anyway, let's. Uh... See this big gate? In a little while, we'll open that up and we'll have a nice shortcut. And in fact, there is a hollow on the other side of it. You can just about see his red eyes over there. Um, and if you're fast enough or sneaky enough in this area, you can actually... He actually starts out in this area and he runs to the other side of the gate when he first sees you. So it's actually... Oh, see? 10 damage off that one. I don't know if the this spear has some kind of uh, damage by... damage, some kind of shield bypass attribute or if... I'm mistaken about the Hollow Soldier Shield. I remember loving the Hollow, so Hollow Soldier Shield because I got it on my last playthrough quite early on through a lucky drop. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. Let's put out the old magic wand. Give this guy a... I don't know. It's not really a warm welcome or a stab in the back. It's uh, a zappy zap. These are soul sorceries. There are other kinds of sorceries, but... Um, Actually, no, I can probably talk about the sorceries later on when we meet Griggs of Vinheim, who is the game's first proper magic teacher. Whoa! Oh, clever. Clever, clever. He's dodged twice. That's very impressive. It's not often you find hollows who can dodge. Or, you know, properly loathsome hollows. What are they called? You know, like wretched hollows or something. Because these, the, these are the absolute... You know, these are the ones who've completely lost it. You know, they don't even have <coughs> capacity to uh, wield a weapon properly anymore. They've just got little broken swords, shattered hilts, etc. You know, it's kind of pathetic, but that's the point. Wary of path. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Let's uh, see if we can... Whoops. Yeah, see... Like I've been saying, you know, the thing about Dark Souls is that if you underestimate them, even the very weakest enemies of the game will absolutely kill you. Later on we'll be mowing down Balder Knights, uh, without a care in the world, but we'll still have to be quite careful. See, later on this can be used as a shortcut, but right now I want to go kill that guy. Now I'm going to try and get backstab on him this time. I failed last time, but I might make it this time. Let's see how we can go. Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> Sucks to be him! Whoa! Okay, magic time. The thing about Balder Knights is that they're actually very skilled swordsmen, and uh, they can parry you. Now, they aren't the only enemies in the game that can parry you, but they are... Uh, they are pretty brutal. Do we have another armoured corpse? What have we found? It's the knight shield. Now, I don't think it's as pretty as the wooden shield, but it does have the advantage of having a 100% damage block, which is... You know, it's not a massively larger number than 93%, but, you know, it's very important because it'll block every every piece of damage. Now, see that? There's one more hollow up there. I could shoot a zappy zappy zap at him, but I'm not gonna because... I think this is probably the end of the episode. We'll pick up here next time. This is a rather beautiful spot to end. A view of the forest. Over there. The rest of the parish. Up above us. 
my boobs, apparently. Sorry about that. So, yeah. Catch you next time, guys. Bye.